Welcoming 32 outstanding high school and college students to the second phase of the Ministry of Tourism and Aviation's Flying High Summer Program, HR Director Renee Mayers told the students that this program is all about striving to do things so well that the rest of the world wants to try and copy it. Mayers says that this is the philosophy from which the Flying High Program evolved. How do we develop within you the passion the interest and the drive to figure out what you can do to make us that much better off than the rest of the world. And we are hoping to be able to figure that out as a result of some key assignments and projects that we're going to give most of you. And you'll get an opportunity as a group of persons as well, particularly those who are on internships, as well as those who are studying in college, to participate in a very important project hopefully towards being able to qualify to receive a special incentive. And what we are really doing is trying to pick your brains. So we are hoping that you come up with something that's going to cause us to really be seen as an industry to want to benchmark against. Impressing upon this group of bright minds the diversity of the islands of the Bahamas, Tourism Minister Vincent Vanderpool Wallace stated that it is a complete accident of history that this collection of islands is in one country. He continued that his generation is failing at their attempts to market the islands of the Bahamas as separate destinations, and it is now up to this present generation. You go to the supermarket, right on the same shelf here, right beside one another, is ivory, oil of Olay, Zest, Kame, all made by the same company. All of them. But people go there and swear by one or the other. 94% is the same thing. Different logo, different look, and all of a sudden you buy it. Now, how do I know that to be true? Take a look at the rest of the Caribbean. I ask people, what's the most successful southern Bahamian island? It's a trick question. You know what it is? It's called Turks and Caicos. How do you explain a little place to the southernmost point of the Bahamas that's doing far better than any of the others? Because it looks different. It's not the Bahamas. We continue to do these things that make no sense. If you make it look different, people believe they're different, and they choose it differently. The minister credited these students as being members of a generation that understands the power of technology and pleaded with them for help. Web streaming. I want to know why we cannot have every single day on our website, a video of what's happening in downtown Nassau, what's happening on Inagua, what's happening on Eleuthera, what's happening on all these places. But no, we're going to have a little video that we're going to create one time. Put them up there. Let people see it. Every single little property in the Bahamas should have a little video where the owner is out there talking about their property, where it's all about, and all the rest of that stuff. We could do it in 2.9 seconds. But trying to get people to do it, it ain't going to work. Because all I know, I got to hire an advertising agency. I got to get some good lighting. I got to get the right box. I got to bring them from overseas because you get the right quality. We're in that same stupid mode all the time. Help us. Help us. Vanderpool Wallace told the summer students that there is no place on earth that has the potential of the Bahamas and issued a challenge to this group to be the change that the Ministry of Tourism is looking for. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Rogers-Seeley.